church say he does. I'm rolling. Okay. I'd have to listen to it to see if I can remember. Okay. I have to uh, wonder if 35 years ago, when Charlie Norris and Bud Carter and Albert Talley, Junior Knight, came back from St. Louis and were talking about starting this thing, if the Jamboree, if they ever thought it would become what it has become, people all over the world coming every year to listen to still guitar music. Not only that, but the friendships that grew because of that, the people who came together became friends and even years later now are still dear, dear friends and keep in touch and talk. And uh, the same thing with the non-pedal sessions. Can you believe we had a guy from Brazil here today this morning. If you missed it, you really missed something awesome playing. Uh, but Oli and Bob became friends here in Dallas, and they've stayed friends over the years. And I, I've become one of their friends and had the pleasure of hanging out with them from time to time. And they're just really cool guys from, I see if I can get this right, Helsinki, Finland, Mr. Oli Hufisto, and from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, Mr. Bob Blair. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. We're going to start with something that I um, saw on YouTube one time. I saw Oli playing this with a, a great um, singer, writer named, he didn't write this song, named Eric Bibb. And I thought that was pretty cool. And then we were going to play together in Phoenix and thought, well, we should do that one because I know he knows it. Yeah. But I, I pretty, I came to learn that. Oli really knows everything, and if he doesn't, he'll pretend he does. And he's made a career of that. He's sort of Europe's house steel player. I'm going down the road feeling that. <laughs>
music stand. Thank you so much. I left my picks and bar and capo on the music stand here last year, and um, Steve still has them. They're up in your room, right? Yeah, I couldn't sell them. Nobody would buy them. <laughs> <laughs> Give it away. Let's do that the way I am song. Indeed, yeah. Whatever I'm playing, yeah. There's this great, this Merle Haggard song. Actually, um, someone else wrote it. I can't remember who it was. Anyway, but Merle owned it. It's good. And Sonny Throckmorton, yes, I knew that. The drummer knows everything. <laughs> yeah. But, but Merle kind of owned it, and um, Sonny Throckmorton wrote it about me on one of my more reflective or depressed days, I'm not sure which. <laughs> With a bamboo pole held in my hand But the road I'm on don't seem to go there So I'll just dream, keep on being the way I wish I enjoyed What makes my living did what I do with a willing hand Some would run But that ain't like me So I'll just dream Keep on being the way I am The way I am Don't fit my shackles The way I am Reality can almost see that barber dancing. And I'll just dream, keep on being the way I am. Okay, so. 
Yeah, we're feeling very fortunate here, yeah. Uh, get a guitar, a, a, my dobro and also a six string guitar that I usually bring down here, my official airplane guitar. Um, they um, <clears throat> didn't make the plane, didn't make the connection in um, Vancouver and there somewhere. <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> but Jan Lockerbie has this wonderful beard resonator and um, it's, it's equipped the same way mine is and the same way Ole's is. Um, and James Lockerbie has this um, great Blue Ridge guitar. And so um, we haven't missed a beat. Here's a song, um, and for the benefit of the band, it's got all three chords in it, and um, none of them are the F chords, so we should be okay, because it's, kind of, it's kind of hard, you know. No, there's this, this phony magazine cover that's running around, a mediocre guitar player, and they always have some, you know, putative article about the F chord workaround, you know. It was, um, this, this was done by the band, who were mostly a bunch of Canadian guys, um, except for Lee Von Helm, who always actually been on stage with, have, have you not? Yes. Yes. And he hasn't changed his shirt since. Um, and it's called Evangeline. She stands on the banks of mighty Mississippi, alone in the pale moonlight. Waiting for a man, Riverside again. He told her he'd be home tonight. They used to walk on the banks of mighty Mississippi, loving the whole night through. Till the river boat came, went off to make a killing. Bring it all back to you. Evangeline, Evangeline, the curse is the soul of the Mississippi Queen who stole her man away.
Oh, you feel up to a little rockabilly like we were trying last night? Yeah. George on a fast train in A. Texans all know that. You should. <laughs> that charts for the main stage now, but you know, think about charts is uh, well, nobody nobody reads them anyway, and um, they just confuse everybody. It's nice to have them. You can you know, walk in and feel prepared. There's a Billy Joe Shaver song I learned off Commander Cody a long time ago. It was Key of A goes like this. On a rainy Wednesday morning, that's the day that I was born in. That old sharecropper's one room kind of shack. They say my mama left me the day before she had me. She hit the road and never once looked back. I just want to mention that my grandma's old age pension is the reason I'm standing here today. I got all my country learning, helping in the churning, picking cotton, raising hell, bailing hay. I've been to Georgia on a fast train, honey. I wasn't born no yesterday. Got a good Christian raising in the great education. Ain't no need for your treatment
you know, I can't believe this. That's almost over because this is this is just too much fun. It's just a thrill to be up here with my good friend Oli, and we've um, you know had some adventures over the few years that we've known one another. We were hanging out in Nashville a few months ago. In fact, and we stood there in Bruce Boughton's condo and stood there and looked down on him as he played that um, little thing that he does in Highway 40 Blues. And, um, that was kind of neat. Yeah, that was neat. That was, neat. That, was worth the, that was worth the plane fares right there. Don't laugh. Yeah, uh, that, and I played this with Oli last night. That um, when, when I was just in, in high school and trying to be a folk singer or whatever I was trying to be, um, you know, first of all, the birds that come out with Sweetheart of the Rodeo, and then um, you know, Poco started kicking around, and there was some guy that came through town and played at this little coffee house that we were all trying to be folk singers at, and he sang this song and nothing was ever the same and everybody learned it and it was on a Poco record and everybody bought it and, it bought it. and it's called uh, um, called Honky Tonk Downstairs and the Barmaid Inn and um, I kind of figured a lot of these old country tunes actually work pretty well on the Weisenborn so we'll see what you think of that and it's going to be in the key of D predictably. Yeah. Donna Bennett. Wow. <laughs> that was just fun, Nolan. Thank you. Thank you. 